What's up, guys? I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. That's right. Every week, me and this little beautiful wife over here. Wifey. My beautiful wife. <laughs> my, your wife. <laughs> <laughs> are bringing you guys great tips, tricks, information, and things that will hopefully ignite, excite, and take your relationship to all new, healthy, positive levels, right? That's what it's all about. And don't worry, if you're not in a relationship, you guys can store this information for later so you guys can apply it to the new relationship that you'll hopefully get in and hopefully that will be success because of all the knowledge you've gained from watching our Cupid's Corners. Yep. And uh, you know, this, this is stuff that me and Sharice over our 16 years in our relationship have you know, been through some of these trials and tribulations and learned from some of these different things or we've learned these from some of our different friends or, or vis physically seen these things out and about so it's just something that we wanted to share with you guys so i do feel like though i do feel like most of the time to some degree not always because sometimes we talk about like way off the wall things that would never apply to us because we don't go through it thank god but most of the time it is somewhat relevant to kind of like what's going on in our lives or maybe something recent that might have happened or something of that nature i feel like it's always been that way yeah. you know that's why i like to keep up with the cupid's corner yeah. so keep up with john's brain because <laughs> then i know like when he talks to you guys and that's what he's really thinking Ooh, really <laughs> huh? oh really huh <laughs> and he gets it out you know so i like i like having the cupid's corner oh okay it's more yeah. like a therapy session for me is what you're saying now okay <laughs> <laughs> i kid whatever is going to help you guys i'm good for it yeah. so this week you know obviously you know there's a lot of different things we could be talking about but it's about staying positive and staying together through not just the good times, but the bad times. Because when the good times happen, there's no problem, no conflict, no issue. Everybody is peachy and keen and, uh, and we are just good to go. But when the bad times happen, this is when you see a lot of people's true colors where things come out that you might not have realized. And at that point, it could be hurtful, uh, depressing, saddening, and overall just a letdown, right? Or a mm. failure in a relationship. So let's get into it. I mean, basically for us last night, me and Sharice have went through a lot of trials and tribulations. A lot. Right? And everything, we're not perfect. And in the, in the beginning of the relationship, we had to work through a lot of different things. <laughs> right? A lot. I, I mean, you know, there was Quite things- Quite a bit. There, were, there was things like, you know, like Sharice would get upset just, with me. I just brought it up to him she like two nights ago. So there's a couple of different things. Why'd I, get, why'd I get upset with you though? Well, you know, when we'd, we'd meet new people or, or she would meet some of my new friends sometimes. Uh -huh. Or I would just be walking by me and say hello. She'd be uh -huh. like, you didn't introduce me. Yeah, why didn't you introduce me? Right, so. What am I, just like some side piece? I'm like, No, oh, I'm important. Okay. And I have like, a name. I just walked by and I said hello. So it wasn't even <laughs> it like. It was a big I deal. I stopped and like had a conversation and she's standing huge behind me. Huge deal, huge deal. So, you know, that's one thing, right? And making your making your parent, uh, your, your partner a priority, right? And, and in these situations. And if you secure them in that way, they won't be insecure in other ways, I think. Yeah. So it's all about the support and, and all about doing the right thing. So that was just one thing I could say. That was um, you know, for us, like last night, like we lost our dog. We lost our dog to cancer. Um, it's been a bad battle. And last night she was just going through it and she was just so, so, so much in pain, I guess, that, that we had to, you know, put her down. Um, it was really hard on a family, really close to our dogs. You know, there are, there are babies too. And it's just really tough. So, I mean, we come together in, in times of, of need, right? Uh, and that's what you guys should do. And, and this is, can happen in a number of different ways. And a lot of these different ways might not be a death, but it could be like a financial situation. Yeah, right? that's a big one. And these financial situations usually cause a lot of conflict. That's one of one of the top reasons for divorce or splits in, in relationships. And it comes down to money. And it's either one partner doesn't like the way you're spending money or you guys just don't have a lot of money. You guys are arguing. Or you guys can't agree where the money's going or right. what's more important. Right, you right. Know? So this is something that, you know, you guys should come together with, right? Instead of, you guys are on the same team. You guys are not on opposite teams. So if you're fighting each other, have conflict with each other, you guys aren't going to find a good resolution. And I always tell Sharice, and I've said this, you know, I don't want to hear complain. I want to hear resolutions, right? I hate when you say Everybody that. can complain, right? So you can complain, oh, I didn't get this. This didn't happen for me to do this. What's the resolution going to be? And you know when he tells me that? You know what I tell him? Then come up with the resolution for me. But yeah, so and usually I, he does. I will come up with the resolution. It's really good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like right? it. Because you have to think about it, right? There's only so much you're going to talk about a problem. And it's just going to dwell and dwell and dwell. Find a resolution. Start kicking away or, or chipping away at that resolution and get it get it done. It right? <laughs> so, you know, that's what it's all about. You know, and, and listen, 
the good times, like I said, the good times is when you're making great memories, but the bad times can be good memories too. Because let's say you guys get through bad financial situations or some other big problem, right? Um, that time of hurt or that time that you guys are down and you guys get through it after that, that's what makes you guys grow stronger, stronger yep. right? It's a true statement. And, and this goes back to the old sayings, whatever doesn't kill you makes you stronger. And yeah. It's so true. That's right? true, yeah. Whatever you deal with, whether it's an injury, a relationship, a business deal, whatever it is, you know, sometimes the bad things happen. No, this, this year has been tough on our family, right? So, you know, like John's dad, and a lot of people out there know this already. I mean, I did my little thing on Facebook or whatever, so most people know, but John's dad was diagnosed with colon cancer. So we've been battling that all year. He started chemo. That's tough on the household, obviously, because we're all wanting to support him, make sure everything's okay. Yeah. The dog, you know, she's been battling cancer, a double cancer in the household is just Taking crazy. Chemo, yeah. Taking chemo, same exact thing. So they were kind of doing it together. It's kind of crazy. Yeah. Um, you know, Peter came down with a shoulder injury and, you know, had a growth, growth plate fracture. So he couldn't play baseball. So, you know, while he's down, you know, one of the things that would get him to be able to release was sports or baseball. He couldn't even do that. Yeah. So it's like, you know, all these different things are going on. And this is like, all these things don't stop like our business that's still running. Right. It doesn't stop us having to get on and do a Cupid's Corner. Yep. It doesn't stop us from having John go on his Titan talk and smile in front of everybody and make sure it's all good. It doesn't stop us from going home and making sure we still have a relationship because I mean, after the business, and then you have this going on and that going on and this going on. I'm honestly, guys, this might be the first year where it's like 8 o'clock rolls around or 9 o'clock rolls around. Me and John look at each other. I'm like, I love you. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> but we know, like, you know, there's nothing wrong with us, yeah. right? And we're at least, like, this is where that communication comes into play, yeah. right? Because, like, what if you are too tired to yeah. be intimate or yeah. whatever? Maybe yeah. you're just not mentally there. Like, yeah. you're emotionally drained. Maybe you're physically drained. Maybe you're going through something. This is where that comes into play to communicate with one another yeah. so you know what's going on because yeah. if you don't ask a or you don't tell yeah. b then how are they supposed to know it's true you know what i mean it's you true. don't have a crystal ball if we had a crystal ball i sure as heck wouldn't be sitting here but i don't have a crystal ball so that's why i'm sitting here right now telling you that you also don't have a crystal ball so you need to make sure that you're asking your significant other what's going on hey you know and it, sometimes they may not <laughs> they may not even tell you like what's going on right then and there mm -hmm. so you might need to kind of like you might need to chip at that a little bit, right? So you've got to wait till the right moment, right? The last thing you want to do is, you know, John turns on his, uh, let's say he's watching, I don't know, like some Star Wars uh, series or something, and he turns on the episode and like five minutes after it starts, I'm like, so tell me about your feelings. This is not the time, okay? <laughs> this is not the time. You guys got to time yeah, it Yeah, let me right. watch my Star Wars in peace. <laughs> It's serious though, you know, this is not the time. You gotta yeah. make the you gotta make sure it's timed right. Yeah. Don't do it at crazy times in the day. Don't do it when you're just coming down on something. You gotta make sure the setting's right and then talk, you know, talk about it. So I mean that's important because some people just don't know the right time either. Yeah. You know, back in the day I used to do this to John all the time. I would wait, and it was only because I knew he would be chilling, you know, like kind of relax. And then I would come at him all right kinds. Before I'm about to go to sleep. All kinds of sideways too, because it was something I was pissed about. It wasn't like let me talk to you about your feelings. No, we weren't talking about feelings. I was like let me talk to you about my feelings at eleven o'clock at night, and it's right before you go to sleep, and we are talking about it now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but see, this is what I'm trying to say though, is that you like you live you learn we're sharing our trials and tribulations with you yeah. i'm sharing with you what worked for me right. what worked for him what worked for us and we're still together 16 years later yeah. so something's working and we work together every day yeah so there's not there's definitely not a lot of couples that do that and we're, i'm not Even dead. if you have a successful relationship or marriage or whatever it may be most of those people do not work together all day long I'm not so that. and for us you know it just it works right it's pretty easy it's pretty simple to do uh, we're generally, uh, you know, in agreement with most things, I would say. Yeah. There's some different things that we might disagree about, but we talk about it and we work it out, whatever it is. Yeah. So that's what it's all about, right? Working with your partner, communication is key, and making sure that you are with your partner and support your partner, not just through the good times, but the bad times. Mm -hmm. So that's the Cupid's Corner for you guys this week. Happy Father's Day Happy to all Father's the fathers Day. out there. We love you guys. Happy Father's Day. You guys are a big a part of, of society and the fabric of our community. So don't take that for disarray. Make sure it's, it's Men's Health Month too. So make sure you're getting checked up. A lot of guys don't think they need to go to the doctor because they haven't been sick. There's nothing wrong. 
Go get checked up. Be preventative about things. You, you never know. If you catch things in the beginning, it might be a lot easier to eradicate in the end. So, or just feeling better. So if you guys need help with there, you guys can call or text Titan Medical Center, 727-389-3220. And if not, just check out our Cupid's Corner every week. You guys can watch it here live on ABC at 11 a.m. You guys can DVR it to watch it later. Or if you just miss it all together or a different state, don't worry. You guys can check it out on all our social media platforms and YouTube. Go over there, Titan Medical Center. Hit that subscribe button in the all notifications bell so you guys are locked in and ready to watch all our great content we got coming for you guys. So we'll see you guys next week for another Cupid's Corner at 11 a.m. with me and my beautiful wife, Sharice, here. See you then. Bye.